Discussions around heart problems in football only arise when there's an incident. Denmark's Christian Eriksen collapsed and was revived at Euro 2020, as was the case with former player Fabrice Muamba in 2012, who was resuscitated on the pitch after suffering a heart attack while playing for Bolton. Sergio Aguero's recent heart complications have led to the Argentine announcing an early retirement, highlighting how fragile even the most elite of athletes can be. That's why football needs regular cardiac screenings. Legendary Spanish goalkeeper Ica Casillas joined Porto for the latter part of his career. He surely didn't expect how it would end. One training session, Casillas fell to the grass after suffering a heart attack. In his case, there was no crowd to see, although it did draw much media attention at the time. The incident ended the keeper's career. Recently, the aptly nicknamed Saint Ica launched Sport Boost, an initiative aiming to help sports startups by providing them publicity and access to funding. Among its clients is Eidoven, a digitally minded cardiology company. Its CEO and founder, Dr. Manuel Marina Bress, is determined to help players like Ica. We are creating an AI platform in the cloud that helps detect or dismiss cardiological problems, he said. We are simplifying the present process, making it more comfortable, efficient and cheap. A common misconception is that elite footballers, supposedly among the fittest people on the planet, are immune to these issues. But heart issues are unpredictable and don't discriminate. The fact that there have been so many high-profile deaths speaks for itself. Cameroonian Mark Vivian Foe died on the pitch aged 28. Former England defender Ugo Ethiogu died at 44. It's not restricted to older pros either. In October, a 17-year-old male tragically died after a cardiac arrest in England. To investigate these issues, consultant cardiologist Dr. Anil Malhotra conducted a study that screened over 11,000 Football Association players aged 16 for sudden cardiac death over a period of 20 years. They all had an electrical recording of the heart and a cardiac ultrasound scan. The results were a huge wake-up call. 42 individuals had high-risk cardiac diseases. 30 had surgery or other treatments and were able to go back to playing football. The other 12 stopped playing. Eight died during exercise, six from conditions that had gone unidentified. Yet, screening isn't fully supported, and critics say that incorrect results can lead to needless anxiety and depression. In the United States, it's suggested that a healthcare professional go through a 14-point checklist to screen for heart disease, with a follow-up only if needed. It's just not enough even for the US and its dire healthcare system. Solicitor Richard Coleman, a specialist on clinical negligence, believes cardiovascular screening programs should be planned strategically, with focus on those who have family history first and then those who generally participate in sport. He says resuscitation training and access to defibrillators would help to prevent deaths on and off the field. But this wouldn't just benefit athletes, this is about helping everybody. With the money and attention that football gets, it can fast-track heart health innovations, and in time, wider society will reap the benefits too. Thanks for watching. For more great content from the world of sport, make sure you hit the subscribe button.